Welcome back to another video. I've got some ball heads in for testing today and these were sent in via Cinephoto. Uh, they make the photographic equipment including tripods. So with each of these you get a neoprene case with a strap and it also has a clip and a drawstring on top that's included for each one and a very basic simple user guide. Not really needed but they do include it as well. Be able to see the size difference between these. The Q8 is the smallest and I put the specs on the screen. Also took a few measurements myself with this. So we've got the uh, suitable for mid-size DSLR this one and up to the Q2 that one would be uh, suitable for a larger DSLR. The ball diameter has increased as well as the maximum load weight and the R1 is the, hip, the largest and it takes the heaviest weight of them all. I very much doubt you'll be putting a that amount of weight on them but that's their quoted figures so we have three spirit levels the head design at the top is basically the same on all of them you have the arca swiss style release system which means to say if you slightly loosen it off um, it will stay on top of the head it won't come off unless you fully loosen it you have a spring loaded mechanism so you need to loosen it off further to take the plate fully off that's designed so that you don't um, doesn't come off the top there with the camera lens on or whatever else you've got on there. So it's a safety feature. And the plate size on all of these is the same. It's 50 by 44 millimeters and a standard quarter inch screw thread. You notice the lugs that you have on the side, they can be removed. You can use a hex um, key to get them off and the indentations prevent them from moving around. That's how the safety system works. So you can unscrew it from the normal position. If you want, you see the screw thread there. And I'll just show you tightening it up again. Now this is quite a popular system because it's um, universal and it's compatible. The universal as in a lot of uh, some of the non-large makers are using the Arca Swiss style. So they've got three knobs on the Q8. So this is a fine and a coarse adjustment. The fine adjustment is the smaller knob and the coarse adjustment is the larger one. So you don't have to use the fine adjuster, but it does let you adjust the angle slightly. Um, you can also adjust the tensioning on that. So it makes it easier to get some movement off of the head if you want. Now, once you loosen it off, you'll see that the head position moves around freely and then you can tighten it up as you want. So the preference really whether or not you prefer the single knob or a dual system, I don't really mind myself. Some people prefer the simplicity of a single one. When it's locked in place, it is quite strong. You've also got a decent bit of knurling on the knobs so that they're easy to grip, not the silicone ones that can potentially slip. There's your 3 8 to quarter inch adapter. It's on the base of every one of them. So that's included with each one. And a comparison with the Q2, you can see that the top design is the same, but the body is larger and the ball diameter is larger as well. They're both using the dual system. So you've got the fine and the coarse knob adjustment and the bottom knob just controls the rotation around. So the base diameter is a little bit bigger on the Q2. I've put the uh, information on the screen there for you. So if you're using a heavier or larger tripod or monopod, you can look at the sizes and see what you want. Now, if I compare the Q2 to the R1, again, they've gone up a bit more, but in size and weight capacity, but they've also um, got a single knob system on this and it seems to be dampened slightly when you turn it. You also see the markings that they put on the side there. So um, I quite like the single system myself because there's enough adjustment there so you can get some movement if you want and then you can just fully lock it down to keep it in place securely and it does stay in place securely. They have made some improvements on this compared to a few other ball heads that I've used. You can see there's a scale on the side and it feels quite smooth. The R1 is the smoothest out of all of them, but give them a bit of time, a month or two in use. And I found that the ball heads uh, do loosen up slightly and you get a smoother response. You can also see the scale on this and they've added an arrow section as well. So you can see that. So it's useful for panoramics. Don't necessarily have to do it like that. So between the Q2 and R1, they, obviously the R1 is a bit more expensive. There's a choice which system you prefer. And I also got a 70 millimeter plate, and this could be quite useful for a larger camera, possibly a telescope or something else. These aren't just used for cameras. You can put other devices on them as well. Again, you can take the screw thread out of this and screw it into the other positions if you need to. It really depends on what you're using. You might be using a collar on a lens or a telescope and there's a visual comparison compared to the standard plate that you get. You can get it in a kit 
with the ball head or you can get it as an optional extra so it's something to consider if you use a larger camera or something like that with a heavier lens I'll just connect it now to a larger camera this is a sort of semi-pro model bigger body and you can also move up the position generally you'd have it facing forward this one has an articulated screen at the back so it's important to give some space to that if you're going to use that so here's a shot of a lens 70 to 210 millimeter one of my vintage Minolta lenses but that's the sort of lens which would work lens a large body with a longer lens um, if you've got an f2.8 lens and you can attach that directly to the plate via the collar this lens doesn't have a collar or if you have a camera which has a grip this will also work quite well. You can put it the other way around if you want. Usually I would just put it going forward though it provides the best coverage on the area. Just going to have a quick look at the Velborn uh, ball head that I had. Had this for a while. This has a quick release system. This is possibly one disadvantage with the Arca Swiss is it's not as quick to release and engage the plate as it is on this one. The upside is it's more compatible with different ones. I'd have to get a Velborn uh, plate for this particular ball head but this just snaps into place and it locks itself so that's one potential disadvantage with the Arca Swiss although I don't really find it much of a problem myself and this loosens everything when you release the lever including the rotation around so that's fine in some cases but in other cases you might prefer to have some control just over one of the movements such as the panoramic going around whereas I can't really do that on that ball head so it's not just for panoramics you could also use it for things like video panning it's not really designed for video work if you're doing a lot of video work I would definitely recommend getting a fluid head because that's the best option for dampening out hand movements you can see here that it is able to hold a fair amount of weight even slightly released and you have to fully unscrew it to take the plate off not had any problems with Arca Swiss style plates or any accidents myself. I'm reasonably careful, so even if you don't fully tighten it up, it shouldn't be going anywhere. I found the movement on this, this is the R1 that I have fitted to the tripod, is quite smooth. Uh, no issues at all with it, any grinding or any gritty feeling. Like I said previously, it does take a while for these to sort of wear in as such to get completely smooth movement but out of the box pretty good quick look at a light tripod that i have this has a similar head a smaller version of the velbon so i have to screw in directly to the head no quick release system and again everything moves when i unlock it so that's okay in some situations but there can be a disadvantage in a lot of areas most monopods don't actually come with a head that was the exception that one so i'll put the q8 on this and you'll be able to see much better design on this particularly if you're going to be doing panning shots and you can also rotate the head around separately and it has the release system so that I don't actually have to unscrew it directly from the head which I do on the other monopod head only point I might change really with the Arca Swiss style plates is to have a larger covering silicone pads on top. I'm not sure why they have smaller pads, they've made them a bit bigger. I just cover the whole top plate with it myself. That aside, not really any issues that I can see with these ball heads. Quality is good, particularly at the price point between $30 and $60. So really you can spend more and yes, you will see an improvement. But are these good enough for most people? And I believe yes, they are. There isn't really much point spending a fortune on ball head unless you have a specific need. And even for fairly serious users, these will be more than good enough.